because we're talking about black boys and girls who are getting murdered by police officers. I'm really lost for words, and I need to calm myself down real quick. There's a reality that some of us have that some of you on the front row can care less about. Because not one time, not once, did I say anyone in this house was a racist. Not one time. So let me quote myself on that. The reality is, I filed this amendment dealing with stand your ground because it's a reality for some of us when we go back into our districts. You can look at me crazy. You can say whatever you want to say, but a reality that many of us go back home to with a teacher who has a gun in her hand. We're talking about black boys and girls. That's who I filed this amendment for. Don't call me a racist. I'm the one who's fighting for a district, for the people I represent. implicit bias training because we're talking about black boys and girls who are getting murdered by police officers. There's bad police officers and there are bad teachers. I never called them a racist, but I'm giving you reality. I talk about my nephews often because that's the reality I go home to. I don't have children. And to get called a racist and said that that came out of my mouth. It's insulting. I filed this amendment because students go to school on a daily basis. And yes, you might have some good teachers, but damn, you got some bad ones too. And the reason I filed this because it's a protection to ensure that individuals who might don't look at me like they look at you, who might not look at that boy who have a dress in his hair and might be intimidated by him. I say this speech for him. Every last one of you in this chamber, I show love to you because I love you. I do, but I fight for the people I fight for. Please, whatever you do, I don't care what you're doing, that boy. Fold down the amendment for all I care. But don't insult me for fighting for the people I serve.